Hello everybody, Hawk here. If you're new to Reason, it can be confusing at first glance. But there's a logic to how the windows are all set up that makes perfect sense and can seriously help to streamline your creative process. Let's take a look. The browser is for finding all of your sounds, and there's a great folder organized by types of sounds, such as drums, bass, and piano. So you don't need to worry about the instrument device you're using. Just double click on a sound to load it. The instrument's track in the sequencer is automatically selected and record armed, so you can easily play the sound from your connected MIDI controller. Notice how the instrument device in the rack is automatically changed with each new sound that I select. Let's check out a few other sounds. The rack is where you keep all of the instruments and effects devices that you're using in your song. It's like having an endless rack of studio gear that you can organize however you like. A new track in the sequencer is automatically created for each instrument that I drag into the rack. Let's drag in another instrument. Not only is it a snap to drag in any Reason device, you can also drag in any VST plugins that are installed on your computer. When I drag in an effect device below the instrument's mixer channel, the effect is automatically inserted on the mixer channel. Let's check out the Waves J37 Tape VST plugin. Let's try that operation again. I'll insert the Waves Audio Track VST plugin on the Kong device's mixer channel. Then, let me make an EQ adjustment. The sequencer is where you record your song's MIDI and audio tracks. It's also where you get into the details of producing your musical performance, including editing, selecting takes, mixer and effects automation, and pitch correction for your audio recordings. How about that? I recorded a beat while I was talking. Now, let's figure out some piano. There, I think that will work for now. Next up, some bass. Wow. 
Well, that was pretty poorly played. Should I re-record it? Nah, I'll just edit out the bad part. There we go. The main mixer is where you mix all of your tracks from a multi-track production down to a stereo output. You've got everything you need here to produce a professional sounding mix, from parametric EQ to compression, sends for parallel effects like reverb and delay, and bus paths for setting up submix groups. The rack, sequencer, and main mixer windows can be combined into a single window or, if you prefer, each of these three windows can be spun out into its own independent window. Then you can use the F keys on your computer keyboard to quickly jump between the windows. On this keyboard, I need to hold down the function access key to reach the function keys. Many laptops work similarly. So that's it. Those are the main windows in Reason. Don't be intimidated by all the different devices, and don't worry about all the cables in the back of the rack when you're first getting started. The connections in Reason pretty much take care of themselves, but they're there for you to play with later on when you want to get deeper into the program. Have fun and make lots of music. <laughs>